Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about binomial expansion and I'm going to show you guys the general formula for all, all expression in which the n is less than 1 and also the n might be maybe negative or fraction. So whenever you come across any binomial of this expression that is going to be 1 plus x raised power of n where n can be what? Negative integer. It can be negative integer or fraction. Or you simply say when n is less than 1. So, oh, whenever you come across any binomial of this expression or this expression, then the n, the value of n there is less than 1 or it is negative. You are going to use the expression I'm going to give you guys right now. So the expression is actually whenever you have whenever you have the form of 1 plus x raised to the power of n, it's equals to that's 1 plus n completion 1. Right, then I'm going to have this word x, then plus here I'm going to have n completion 2, then I'm going to have this word that's sorry, n completion 1, x, then n completion 2, then here I'm going to have x power of 3, then plus some other terms up to, up to, let me just say, you have it up to, let me just say, n completion r, then x power of r, exactly, so up to this term, exactly, so here, okay, this should be 2, raised power of 2, exactly, then plus some other terms up to n completion r, x power of r, or you see, let me just say, let me represent it as just a function of, of x. So here I can just have it to be that's um, 1 plus, that's, let me just say this, n completion 1, then we have this to be p of x, because x is a function here. Then plus n completion 2, we can have this to be that's going to be p of x is power of 2, that is a function of x is power of 2, then plus some other terms up to here, I'm going to have this to be what? p of x is power of n. Exactly. So we can just represent it as well as this. So that's just it. Where n completion 1 is actually the same as what as n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial, then we are going to have 1 factorial. Right? So this is simply the same thing as writing that's going to be n into bracket n minus 1 factorial divided by what that's going to be n minus 1 factorial, then 1 factorial is equal to 1. So this cancel this. So here we are going to have it to what to be n. That means n completion 1 is equal to what n. So that's just it. So now, after that, you can just have n completion 2. Whenever you have n completion 2, the expression is written as writing n factorial divided by what? n minus 2 in the brackets. What? n minus 2 factorial 2 factorial. Exactly. So here, this is simply writing. This simply, that's going to be n into brackets n minus 1. Then here, we're going to have n minus 2. Then here, factorial divided by what? n minus 2 factorial. This is going to be 2 factorial. So this comes to this, you're going to have this to be n into brackets n minus 1, right? Then followed by that's 2 factorial. So that's just it. So now let's say you are given a question. Let's say you are asked to expand an expression of, let me just say you are given 1 plus s squared all this power was minus 1. And you are asked to expand this expression. It's very simple. You just have to, to equate this to, to this expression on this side which is 1 plus x to the power of n so here i'm going to equate it that's going to be it is equal to 1 plus x to the power of n so in this case what i just named is x my x is equal to x to the power of 2 then my n here is what is a negative integer which is minus 1 so now using this expression i'm going to have it to go using this general expression i'm going to have this to go that's going to be 1 plus x squared to the power of minus 1 equals to what that's going to be 1 plus followed by that's n combination what's my r my r is actually 1, right? Then I'm going to have x, which is s squared, right? Then followed by plus. Here I'm going to have this to be n combination 2, which is n combination 2. Let me just replace that as this. And what's my n? Minus 1 into brackets minus 1. Then minus 1 again divided by what? That's 2 factorial. Then plus some other terms. Then here I'm going to have this to be 1 plus n combination 1. It's the same as n. Then I'm going to have this to be what? Minus 1 into brackets s squared. Then here I'm going to have plus, here I'm having minus 1, minus 1, that's going to be what? Minus 2. Then minus 2 times 1 is going to be plus 2. Then here should be s squared. And s squared is actually, that's going to be s squared or squared. So this is s power of 4. So here we're going to have s power of 4, the other was 2 factorial, then plus some other terms. So here we're going to have 1 minus s squared. Then here we're going to have plus, this cancel this, then I'm going to have s power of 4. So that's just the expansion towards to this, this expression. Then let me just give you another question. Let's say you are asked to expand a binomial expression of you're asked to expand, let's say you are given 1 plus 2x 
raised power got of minus 1 over 2. You are asked to expand this. This is also a negative binomial. If you look at this negative integer here. So here we are going to have this word. That is going to be, in this case, our x will be equal to 2x and our n will be equal to what? Minus 1 over 2. Then simply, I'm going to expand this up to, up to, up to polynomial of degree 2. So here I'm going to have this with 1 plus, here I'm having n combination 1. n combination 1 is still the same as, as n. So I'm, going, I'm simply going to represent this as, well as nx. So here is going to be, in the brackets, that's going to be minus 1 over 2. Then my x is actually 2x, then plus n combination 2. That's going to be, n combination 2 is what is simply the same as, well as this expression, which is going to be minus 1 over 2, in the brackets, minus 1 over 2, then followed by minus 1, then s squared. This is going to be s squared here. So here I'm going to have s squared. So here I'm going to have this to be what? 2x. That's going to be 2x all squared. Divided by what? That's 2 factorial plus some other terms. Then here I'm going to have this to be equal to. That's 1. This is going to be. Um, this cancel this. We are going to have this to be what? Minus x. Then followed by. Here I'm going to have this to be minus 1 over 2 minus 1. Minus 1 over 2 minus 1. That's going to give me minus 3 over 2. Here it's going to be minus 3 over 2. Then minus 3 over 2 multiplied by minus 1 over 2. That's going to give me what? Plus. That's going to be. 3 over 4. Then plus 3 over 4, this is going to be 2 squared. You know, if this is actually plus 3 over 4, then here is 2 squared, which is what? 4s, then we are going to have squared. So that's going to be, this is going to be 3 divided by 4, multiplied by 4s squared. Then this simply cancels this. I'm going to have this over 3s squared. So here I'm going to have plus 3s squared divided by what? That's going to be 2 factorial plus some other terms. So simply I'm going to have this to be 1 minus x, then this is going to be plus 3s squared divided by 2. So that's just the expansion. If I stop as what as polynomial words of degree 2. So that's just it. Then let me just give you another one. Let's say we are given, we are asked to expand this. That's 1 plus 2x or this power words of, let me just use 3. Exactly. So the n terms here is actually, the n here is actually, that's 3, right? So the x here is what is 2x. Then this is equals to 1 plus n, which is 3. x, which is what? 2x then plus what's here i'm going to have n that's going to be 3 into bracket 3 minus 1 divided by what that's 2 factorial then s squared which is what 2x or squared then plus again since the value of n here is actually 3 then let me just add one more to it so adding one more to it i'm going to have this to be that's going to be plus again i'm going to have this to be n again that's going to be 3 into brackets that's going to be 3 minus 1 Right, then followed again, then I'm going to have 3 minus 2. Then after that, I'm going to have this to be, that's going to be x, 2x is power what, of 3. Then divided by what, this is going to be 3 factorial. Exactly. You know, for 3 factorial, it is going to be something like, that's n combination 3. And n combination, that's going to be what, n factorial divided by what, n minus 1 factorial. Right, n minus 3 factorial, then 3 factorial. This is simply n to bracket n minus 1, in the bracket n minus 2, in the bracket n minus 3 factorial divided by what this is going to be n minus 3 factorial then 3 factorial so this is going to cancel this then i'm going to have this expense to be n into bracket n minus 1 into bracket n minus 2 then divided by what that's going to be 3 factorial which is this and our n is 3 we're fixing 3 here 3 here and 3 here this is just the expression can you see this now so let's go ahead and, and simplify this further so simplifying this further we're going to have this real that's going to be 1 plus 2x or this power of 3 equals to that's going to be 1 then this is going to be plus 6x. Then here is going to be, this is 2, right? And this is going to be 2 modulo by 3, that's 6. 6 modulo by 2, that's going to be what sort? Uh, 6 modulo by 3, this is 2 squared, right? That's 4. Then here we are going to have this to be 24s squared divided by 2. That's going to be 12s squared. Then this is plus 12s squared. Then followed by here, I'm going to have this to be 3. Then multiply by 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. Then 3 minus 2, that's going to be what? That's going to be 1. Then here I'm having 2. Exactly, multiply by 3, that's going to be 6. Then 3 is power of 3 is 8. Then 6 multiplied by 8, that's going to be what? That's going to be what? 6 multiplied by 8, that's going to be what? 48, exactly. So here I'm going to have this to be 48s cubed divided by 3. So that's going to be 48s cubed divided by what? 3. And 48 divided by 3, divided by 3, that's actually 48 divided by 3. That's 16. So here I'm going to have plus 16 x is power what, of 3. Now, if you look at this very well, it's very simple. First thing that you need to consider is that, look at this side. This side is actually 2 multiplied by 3, which is what? 6. What of this? That's going to be 4 multiplied by what? 
3. What of this? That's actually 4. Multiply what? By 4. So what I just want to bring out from here is that this, this is the general formula for the binomial expansion for negative and fraction. But you can always apply it to all integers. Whether be it, it is negative or positive, you can always apply it. So this expression, you can apply it what? to negative, positive, and fraction. It is going to work, to work for it. So that's just it. So if you enjoyed this video, please and please do well to like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. And one thing is that I'm going to solve more questions on this, on this um, general formula for negative and fraction. I'm going to solve more questions on it so that you guys will have better understanding on how to solve it. Thanks for watching.